Um, now, just very quickly, um, why do you want to talk about cruise missiles? <laughs> well, I know you love electric cars, but I don't know how you feel about driverless ones. Did you know that in San Francisco, there are three companies that are now licensed to ferry passengers around parts of the city in driverless vehicles? It's the and future, we- Roger. No, this is right now. This is happening right now. No, you, no, no. You, the, we are living in the future, but this is the future. Oh, yeah. You know, this is the future yeah, to have yeah. driverless cars. On the basis yeah. that, I mean, look, I, can I drive better than, uh, you know, something which is autonomous? Probably. Can I drive better um, or, or can an autonomous vehicle drive better than some of those, um, let's say, um, uh, minicab drivers that one might get assigned uh, on occasion? Yeah. Yeah. I think they probably could. Well, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm sure you could drive better than this car because recently, one of these three companies called Cruise had an empty driverless car with no passengers, fortunately, escape from an attempt to stop it by a police cruiser when uh, the old bill told it to pull over because its headlamps were off at nighttime. The company, which is already worth $30 billion in the crazy money that flies around for these sorts of things these days, mm. said that their vehicle was absolutely following proper procedure and merely proceeding to a safer location in which to stop rather than simply evading the police, which it looked like on the copper screens. But, I mean, shouldn't someone have programmed it to do what the people with the blue lights and the big guns tell them to? Well, Well, you say that, Uh, but, yeah, they probably should. Uh, Roger, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are out of time. That's Dr. Roger Givol bringing you up to date on all the personal finance news. Would you go in a driverless car, I guess, as, as a subject and, indeed, a question we will return to.